Hi everyone, I'm Jim and welcome to Wheel of Total Destruction, the first record from The Elite, a super group consisting of Rap Arnold from Chimera and X Six Feet Under, Austin Demont from Bleed the Sky, Vented, Chimera and X Devil Driver, and TJ Frost, the ex vocalist of Stem. Today we're celebrating the 5th anniversary of the record so I decided to go back and see if it still holds up or not. My story with this band is quite simple, it all starts with Chimera. I found Chimera on a download 2001 sampler, back in 2001 or 2002. It was the demo version of their song Dead Inside, it was so good that I became a fan of that band. When Chimera disbanded in 2014 I was like... I need to check out if those people have some side projects, that's how I found The Elite. Basically they had an EP, World War 3 I think that was the name, and I've truly enjoyed it. When it comes to Total Destruction, the production here was handled by Rap himself, and it's tight, I love how the mix sounds, the clarity of it, the punch it all has, it's truly fabulous. Then we have the message, it's diverse. The lyrics are mostly about personal struggles, society, existence, revenge, murderers, stuff like that. Structure of the tracks is between basic and advanced, usually you have an intro, verse pre chorus chorus, verse pre chorus chorus, a long bridge that has like 2 or 3 segments, a chorus and an outro. Sometimes it's slightly different and also every song has at least one guitar solo. The music on this record could be described as a mix of groove metal, thrash metal, heavy metal, death metal, even nu metal in some parts. All of the music was written by Rap Arnold who played the guitars and bass here, Austin is on the drums and TJ Frost wrote the lyrics and he's the vocalist. The album starts with the song Sleepwalker. And the first thing you want to notice about it is the drumming. The drumming is phenomenal on this record. I love Austin's style. He has such a distinct way of playing the drums. His groove, his precision, the tempo changes, how he hits the toms and just everything. I love the way he punches the crashes. It's so iconic. I love everything he's doing on this record. Then you have the bass work by Rap and the bass is audible. This is not Metallica Injustice for All. And I truly enjoy it. The bass mostly follows the guitars, but we have lots of moments here and there where it deviates from the guitars. Then you have the guitar work by Rap, and it's a cherry on top of this cake, which is this album. Love the guitar work so much. The crunchy guitar riffs, the more chunkier stuff, the lead melodic guitar work is fabulous, the guitar solos so memorable and tasty. I love every single guitar riff on this record. Finally we have the vocals by TJ and I love his screaming, growling, shouting, yelling, all of that stuff. But when it comes to his clean singing I have some objections. Sometimes he sounds very nice and sometimes I feel like the thing he's singing is not linking and connecting with the music. That's just how I feel. You probably don't have this problem but yeah there are some songs where I'm like this doesn't fit what I'm hearing musically. Also, sometimes he has that weird effect on his voice, like he's doing some spoken word on this song, the Sleepwalker, in the bridge, and I don't enjoy that, like, at all. It's awful. But that's it, everything else is on point. So when it comes to this opening song, I love everything here musically, the drumming, the bass work, the guitars, vocally everything except the bridge, that's the part where we have that weird effect on his voice and my favorite part of this song is the chorus I guess because it has cool synth effects I forgot to mention that this record also features some keyboard and synth elements and they are truly fun as well so yeah this song is great 9 out of 10 weightless now this one is a classic I love those weird clean guitars they remind me of Cannibal Corpse, but also new metal at the same time, I don't know why. So that part is great. Then we have the bridge with the blast section and it's just so good, the guitar solo also slaps. The vocals on this one are fabulous. So yeah, this is a classic track. It's not perfect, but I love it. 9 out of 10, My Last Murder. Now this is my favorite song from this band, the groove of it. So chimerish. Dum 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 dum
<laughs> the drummer, Austin, what are you doing? This is just amazing. This track is just a masterpiece. I cannot get it out of my head. It's just so good, so memorable. Love the guitar solos, the changes, the structure, just everything. And that final part, it's just the beginning, but it's slowed down. It just goes so hard. 11 out of 10, got them criminal. Now this one slightly reminds me of Resurrection, you know, an album by Chimera. Love the wah wah sound on the guitars. Yeah, the music is great. It has a such a playful vibe to it, I must say. But some of the vocals here, you know, the bridge part, yet again, we have that weird effect on the DJ's voice and I don't like that, but everything else was truly fun. 8 out of 10, Total Destruction, the title song, this one slaps. It's so fun from beginning to the end. My favorite part is the bridge because it has such a playful tone to it, you know. The guitar riffs there and the guitar solo is the best part, for sure. 9 out of 10, You're Not Ready is the song that surprised me the most when this record was released because I was not prepared for it at all. It sounds completely different from everything rap has done previously. It's so playful and catchy and happy. It has a slight rap metal and hardcore vibe to it. Love the vocals, the music, the guitar riffs, the changes of the tempo and just the melodies. Everything about it is fun, yet again, not perfect, but so good. 9 out of 10, the next great divide. Now this is my second favorite song on this record. I love the vocals, the vocal performance here is all over the place. The screaming, the growling, the shouting, it all works. Vocally, it's my favorite song on the record. Then we have the music and it also slaps. It has that crunchy death metalish vibe to it some thrashy parts, some groovy ones, and just so fun from beginning to the end. The guitar solo, wow, just wow. 10 out of 10, Gun To Your Head is another banger, I love the guitar work here the most, also the drumming as usual, I forget to mention the drums because they're just so good on every song. The vocals also slight, I guess the only part that is slightly weaker is the outro, 9 out of 10. While the devil sleeps, now this song slightly disappoints me because the first part of it isn't that great, like I do enjoy the instrumental work, but the vocals, you know, the cleans, they are not for me. But then the bridge happens, that's the part where I think he says I don't want to die or something like that. And that guitar riff that happens after it is just so good. That's my favorite part of this album. And from that point till the very end, the song never lets go. It's just an assault on your senses, it's fun to listen to. I wish that the whole track was like that. Sadly it's not, but I still love it. 9 out of 10. And the final song, Black As Can Be. I love everything about it except the intro. Like the intro, eh. But everything else, the guitars, the groove, the intensity, the drumming, and the vocals, the screaming, the just everything. It's a fun song and a fine ending to this record. 9 out of 10, to sum it all up, the consistency is stable and the flow is fitting, groupability, yeah, it's an excellent album, I enjoy it from beginning to the end, it doesn't have any weak songs, it's fun, it's versatile, there are lots of changes, the drumming is phenomenal, same with the guitar work and the bass work, I guess the only flaw is some of the clean singing and some weird effects on the voice, but screaming, growling, shouting, yelling, it was all perfect, so I highly recommend this record. It's so fun to listen to, I cannot wait for another one. I want another one right now. The highlights here are My Last Murder, The Next Great Divide, While the Devil Sleeps, Weightless, Sleepwalker, and Total Destruction. Celebrate the nursery by spending this record today, it deserves your love and attention. That's all from me, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram and subscribe, I will see you in my other videos. Also consider becoming a member on my channel so I can make you an album review or maybe a Doom MIDI cover. That's all. Bye!